Edinburgh's form away from home is something that coach Alan Solomons will be looking for improvement on. The Scots had only one win on the road since December 2012 and they'd recorded only one win away to Welsh opposition in 17 games. Scarlet secured a good win away to Treviso last time and they'd won six of their last seven games against Edinburgh. However, it was the Scots who made the brighter start at Parky Scarlet's. With just four minutes gone, they were in a good attacking position. And with Scarlet's fighting a rear guard battle, Scottish international Nick De Luca, playing outside centre, picked up and forced his way over the line for the perfect start to the afternoon for Edinburgh. Carl Bezadenhout landed the conversion and the away side were 7-0 up early on. Then 12 minutes in, it was 10-0 when the South African, Bezadenhout, landed a penalty from 30 metres in front of the posts. Scarlet's chipped away at the lead with Alad Thomas putting two penalties over to bring it back to 6-10. The first of them awarded when Edinburgh were penalised for holding onto the ball. When Thomas put over, he was the first score of the day for the home team. And the out half added to that shortly after with another penalty from close range, which made it six points to ten. The Welsh men getting a real foothold in the game, and just past the half hour mark, they went in front. The home side spreading the ball wide, and when Fraser Clemo set Jordan Williams away, the full-back wasn't going to be stopped. Thomas converted for 13 points to 10. Although a huge Bezadenhout penalty soon after brought it back to 13 all. Then just a minute before the half-time break, Scarlets were back in front when Williams got over for his and his team's second try of the afternoon. Really good work from the number 15. And although Thomas missed the conversion, Scarlets were 18-13 ahead at half-time. Edinburgh started the second half well and eventually got their reward for the pressure they were applying when winger Tom Brown's neat footwork saw him inside and over the line for the try. That followed a lovely pass from substitute Harry Leonard to set him away. Leonard was off target with the conversion, but it was 18 all. Midway through the second half, Scarlets were back in front again. Adam Warren getting over for his side's third try of the afternoon. Warren's second try of the campaign. A good conversion from Thomas meant it was 25 points to 18. The visitors closed the gap to four points with just under 20 minutes remaining through Jack Cuthbert. But that's how it finished, with Easterby's men recording back-to-back -back wins as they prepare to face Munster next time. Edinburgh's poor run away from home continues, although they do take a bonus point back to Scotland after a plucky display in this game. Final score, Scarlets 25, Edinburgh 21.